Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use a lucid. A lucid is a vintage tool used by the Vikings to create braided cords. There are many different braid patterns, and since I'm a knitter and crocheter, I'll show you how to make an easy eye cord on the lucid. Lucids come in several different sizes and are made from various materials. If you don't have one, I'm sure you can find something around the house with two prongs on it, either by removing spokes or improvising with common household items. You can use any kind of yarn, cord, thread, or fiber with lucids. To begin, a lucid is the same on both sides. So if you have a traditional lucid, place your yarn or cord through the hole and pull the cording towards you. The most important thing is to put your thumb over that hole and hold that initial yarn in place. We're first going to bring the cord towards you, right down the center of the lucid. And then we move the cord to our right hand side. Bring your yarn towards you in the center again. Now we wrap around the left hand spoke and back through the center again, facing towards you. Then we place the cord towards our right spoke again, above the other loop that's already there. Next, we're going to take that bottom loop and move it over the top loop around the right hand spoke. It's up to you. I'm just going to lift this loop with my fingers. However, you might find a loom knitting tool or a crochet hook or even a sewing or knitting needle works better for you. Next, we're going to rotate the tool towards the other side. And this rotation will only occur a few more stitches. Now we're going to wrap the working yarn around the right hand spoke again. Then I take my bottom loop and carefully pull it over the top loop as well as the top of the right handed spoke on the lucid. Once again, pull your starting cord a bit and gently tug on that working yarn. Then we wrap the yarn again around the right hand side of the spoke of the lucid. And this time I'm going to use a bent nose yarn needle to carefully lift my loop instead of my fingers. At some point, you can either leave your work go through the hole of the lucid, or you can pull it out and let it drape naturally outside of the tool. I find with thicker cording like I'm using, it actually helps to pull out the yarn because otherwise it sort of gets stuck in there and pushes the top loops off the tool. Your work will look something like this. Now, once a few stitches have been established, we're going to take some shortcuts and wrap the thread around the entire tool, then take both the right off and the left off. And again, wrap around the entire tool, then take the right side off and then the left side off. Now you don't have to do this. You can just continue on doing the wrap and rotate if you prefer, but this method once stitches have been established goes much quicker. At the end, just cut the yarn 12 inches from the end, pull the stitches off the lucid carefully, then run the tail end through both loops and tighten into a knot. This helps secure the end so it doesn't unravel. And now you have completed a lucid cord, which you can use for whatever you wish. If you want to make a flower, I use about 12 inches of cording, and then I form loops with it, followed by sewing the center of the flower in place. Tie and knot the gathering yarn to secure the loops. Add a button if you wish. If you make two or three of these, you can layer them on top of one another to form a more 3D looking flower. And that's it. That's how I make some basic cording using a lucid.